That's right. Um, then he hands the, his timesheet to me, and usually he then goes and picks out a payroll card, which has different um, scenarios on them. Like, for example, um, you were inline skating and you broke your wrist. You have to pay a copay of ten dollars or whatever, and then they have to write a check. Um, his card today is going to be here. You can read it while I'm checking right. your timesheet. You can read it, and then you can read it out loud for the camera, too, okay? All right. <clears throat> okay, so you finally did get a date with the cutie of your dreams. A movie and ice cream will cost you $38. Make check payable to Audium Movie Theater. Hmm. All right. So... Wait till okay, uh, then he's usually got to wait for me to just double check his work here. Uh, but maybe you can talk and I could check at the same time. Okay. Um, like, at this point, uh, Peter has only written a check. Oh, this is your second check nice. to write out. I think so so yeah. this is something fairly new to him. So what we make the students do, the Braille students, we make them role play because someone will probably have to fill out the check for him. However, he will be expected to sign his signature on the check. Mm -hmm. So we usually role play, and I'm either Aunt Tilly or Mom or somebody else, but, um, and we make him come and ask. And uh, we, he is expected to really, really walk me through how to um, write this check and what lines and where to go when I'm writing it. Yeah. So, Sorry, do you want to do that? Okay. Sure. Am I going to use mine? Okay, yes. Okay. Yes. Because I know I took a English one. So, let me see the check. Get my signature guy. We've and been experimenting with pens with Peter, too, because. Um, here, I'm just I opening this wide. This uh, yeah, try that one. All right. Some pens work better than others. Uh, and so we're trying to explore which one will work the best for him. Um, hmm. well, and then, uh, you want to take it out of this one. So, I would say, um, Mom, can you help me fill out a check? Sure, I can. <laughs> All right. And here you go. And here's our pen. Mm -hmm. All right, and over, um, if you please, <coughs> in the right-hand corner, is this check number 103? No, it's not 103. It would be, oh, it'd be 104. Okay, if you don't, so I know I did. what can you do to find out what that check number is? <clears throat> um, ask what it says. Well, you can ask what it says, but there's another way that you can find out what the last check was number that you wrote. Oh, you can look in your in the check register. Fine. Yeah. Why don't cool. you try that then? All right. I'm All just right. putting your signature guide here on your check. Okay. Check register. Okay, so this is this, it, it says 101 was the last one. So is this check 100, 102? 102, yes. And you cool. might just want to make sure that the person, yeah, that you're going to record it correctly when you go to do your check register. Okay, and it does say 102. Okay, cool. Okay, so now go over <coughs> to the um, pay to the order of uh, right here on the okay. first line and put, um, where was the card thing? I think I put it on the Oops. Oh, here it is. All right, to the, let me see. Okay, can you put uh, capital O, D, U, M, and then um, put, wouldn't that be it? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, and then the movie theater. Capital. How is it spelled? Then, uh, it's capital O, D, yeah. I U M. Okay, I U M. Yeah. Okay. And then space capital M O D I E. And then space capital T H E A T E R. All right. And then um, you would go.
Oh yeah, yeah. Then you go over to the um. It it says to the um right below the check number. Yes. And you have to write out like the amount. So. You okay, put, you've skipped okay. something underneath the check number. Yeah. There is this right here. Let me locate that. What goes underneath the check number? Do you remember? Oh, the date. The date. Okay. okay. So right. you put three. Okay. Three. This is the date up here. Okay. Okay. So date you put um three mm -hmm. hyphen fifteen hyphen one five and then hyphen zero two. Okay. All right, and now um, if you go to the... We've done the pay to the order of... Below the, yeah, if you go below the pay to the okay, order of... Okay, what's at the other side of the same line as the pay to the order of? Okay. What goes there? The amount? Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Remember, this is a dollar sign. Oh, yeah. So, so you gotta be okay. Okay, so you do, um, you would put... Um, See how much it was. Okay, you put three eight point zero zero. Okay, three eight point zero zero. And then, um, then down here we go to below the pay to the order of. Okay. And you have to write it out. So we put. Where am I? Okay. Okay, capital T. Mm -hmm. H mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. R mm -hmm. T Y and then space capital E I G H T and then um oh yeah and then you're gonna I need you to make a fraction. Very good. That's usually what students forget when they're first learning. Yes. Very good. Okay. And, all right. Um, the uh, uh, I need to make a fraction, and okay. the numerator would be zero zero, and the denominator would be one hundred, and then after the one hundred of the denominator, put a line all the way to the end so that you know, so all the way to the word all the way to the word cents dollars i mean dollars dollars that's yeah. what's written there usually okay mm. all right then in the bottom left hand corner <coughs> um it says memo or four. or four okay um put movie capital m o v e i e okay all right and then, um, can you line up my signature guide so I can sign my name on the yes. arm, right? Okay, I'm going to move this away right. because yeah, I've that got the check that's been written on. Yeah. So when you're asking someone to fill out the check yeah, you for don't you, want them to do it. right, because you don't want to mm -hmm. then go and sign that. So okay, see. now I'm going to line you up here, and it would be nice if I gave you back your pen. Yeah. All right, cool. Okay. All right, now. To understand, 200. Peter is just learning to sign his name. Do you want to explain how you do that? Um, he's using a method that, and it involves using the Braille cell as a guide. He used the Braille cell in his finger. And the directions that I'm going to be giving him are directions, and I will be telling him to move to like dot three, uh, go forward, right, left, um, and to the dots that are in the Braille cell. Normally, um, they know how to write their signature before we get to this point. He will learn a signature pretty quickly, so um, he'll, he will be all right. Um, he has brailled up the directions, and, um, but I, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have it memorized or anything no. yet. So I'm going to kind of talk him through the procedure. We're also having um, a hard time getting used to making that pen, uh, the lead, or the Column. ink show up when he's signing his name. So we're just going to run through this and do the best we can since we're at the learning stage here. All right. Okay. For your capital okay. P. For capital P, we'd start at one. Three. Yeah, three. three that's right. Go up to up one. Up to one. Over to four. Right to four. Um, down to five. Yeah. And back to t back to two. Good. Lift your pen off the paper and, and move over for your next letter. All right. And move over. Okay. Now for the E, we start. Lowercase E. Yeah, for lowercase E, we start at E at three. Mm -hmm. Diagonal right to 
five, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. To five, back left, to, left to two, mm -hmm. down to three, over to six, and then over for your next Move letter. Move over for your next letter. Right. Peter, you're doing really good. I'm not having to say anything. This is great. Okay. For the T, T is kind of difficult, so. Yes, okay. I think I'm gonna, you start at four. Well, you should be at three, or three. forward to, or right to six. Right to six. That's okay. what I to say. Up to four. Four. Okay. And then and down, then down to, to five, five. Over to two. Mm -hmm. Back to five. And you're going to kind of then be using another braille cell. braille cell. So over to that. Right to that two. Right to two. Back to five. Mm -hmm. Down to six, right? And move over for your next letter. Six and move over. Okay. And for E again, we'd go starting at three, diagonal to five, back to two, Good. down to three, over to six, and over again. Okay. And uh, Pete can sign Pete or Peter, and then his last name. <coughs> Should I do Peter? Um, since you're learning, but you look like you have quite a bit of space left, most people who are learning make the letters so big that sometimes we have to just use the first letter of their first name and then their last name. But I'm thinking you have enough room for R. Yeah, I do. I think okay, I do. so why don't you try the R then? Okay, so R, we start at three, up to two, over to five, mm -hmm. down to six, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, down to six and then pick up the pen because we're going to my last name. Yep. Okay, I don't know, but the pen is barely moving, so I'm thinking uh -huh. you can make things a little bit a little bigger. bigger yeah. But we'll work on that as we work on your signature, though. Okay. okay? All right. Now the capital T. Okay, capital T, you got starting at um, six. Mm -hmm. Six, go all the way up to four, mm -hmm. over to one, mm -hmm. Retrace. back to four, then over to the next braille Go to dot one. And one. Back to four and down to. Okay, you could have six. lifted your pen oh, yeah, off could. the paper. Yeah. Um, then, after the dot one. Okay, move over to your next letter. Okay, and then um, you go from three up to two, down to three. Retracing? Over to six mm -hmm. and up to five, right? Retrace back down and to back six. Back down to six. And over, over to next for C. Anytime you're retracing, remember, you go up, kind of quickly yeah, go like back down. Yeah. Because you're less likely to go off the line. Okay. Okay. And then for C, start at three, up to two, over to five, back to two, down to three, over six. Okay, move over. And over for the I. Now the I, we go from three to two. Pick pen up, dot it at one, back down to three. Now you should feel mm -hmm. where that pen was on your finger so you know where to put the yeah, great. pen back right, to three. Right. All right. And then over move over for your next letter. For the C, and we do um, up three, up to two, over to five, back to two, down to three, over to six. Okay. And then that's it. That's Look, it. I think I wrote my first name way, way too small. Okay. But that's okay. I but guess. not bad. And I want to say the pen showed. Um, just the P part of the pen, I could tell you drew the line up correctly. Mm -hmm. But that's fine. That's a very nice signature, and it fit on the line. Okay. okay. Then he usually hands me the check. <laughs> okay. And I deposit it.